Hello, I am Quinny. Welcome to the channel, guys. In this video today, we're going to be putting Nashville under the so rare microscope as we gear up towards rivalry week here on the channel. Now, Nashville FC have been around for a few years and they have been progressing year after year after year. And it feels like it's been slow, gradual progression, but it's been really solid. And they've got some fantastic cards to play on so rare. Some of the guys in the Nashville team can be amongst the best in the world in their position when they are on form and they can be really valuable to play in global fantasy football. If you haven't opened your so rare account yet, there's a video linked in the description in this video that is the number one walkthrough that I've made that will make sure when you open your account, you don't make any beginner mistakes and you maximize all the free items available. If you have any other questions or need any other assistance, just reach out to me in the comment section in this video and I'll get back to you. And if you're just here looking for the link to get the free card once you sign up, that is also in the description in this video. Make sure when you hit the link, you sign up directly to make sure that it correlates and entitles your account to a free limited card. So today I'm going to make my best SO5 team for Nashville for this rivalry week and I'm going to be thinking about the best bang for buck and where's the best place to utilise some of these cards. I want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below about Nashville over rivalry week. I hope you enjoy this one guys at any point in the video. If you do laugh, you learn, you like something or whatever, please do like and subscribe, share, retweet, all that good stuff guys. Stay out of trouble and let's get stuck into it. If you could hit the subscribe button, I do daily global football content. Everything from wonder kids and rising star managers to fantasy football and watch alongs. I will also automatically enter you into my April giveaway. This month, I'm giving away a rare under 23 goalkeeper in the Turkish Superliga, Diego Souza, and two limited goalkeepers. If you want to stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, there is only one star in Nashville, and that is Hani Mukhtar. This guy is the talisman of the team. 132 euros for a limited, I think, is fantastic price for a D of this talent level. The only thing is, at the age of 27, he is in a wee bit of a do or die situation. Does he go back to Europe? Does he just knuckle in and stay in MLS now? It's a real grey zone. Maybe that's what's suppressing his price a little bit. Just under 800 euros for a rare. And again, this guy scores free kicks, scores worldy, scores, scores galazzos. He's a fantastic player to watch. He gets some of the best scores on the platform. I say when he is on form, he is a key competitor. 24 goals and 12 assists over the last year. It makes him a formidable card in SO5. And he is one of the must-have midfielder cards in MLS. There's a really strong case to say Walker Zimmerman is probably the best, or one of the best, SO5 cards in this team. The ever-present, rock-solid centre-half. Now America International as well. He's an MVP-type guy. He's won the league a few times already. He's capable of big scores from centre-back. He is goal-dangerous. He's a very ambitious guy, if you listen to his interviews and such as well. And at the moment, for €46 Euros for Unlimited, I think it's fantastic value for money. €350 Euros for a rare. You know, again, it depends what division you're going into, but he is a, he's a top-end centre-back in the division. At the age of 29, again, there's no real threat of him leaving MLS. He's quite set at being at Nashville, being the big fish there, running the show and trying to lead them to glory. Now, Joe Willis showed himself last year as being one of the best goalkeepers in MLS at Nashville, and they built a real reputation on that defensive solidity and their pace on the counter-attack last year with guys like Hanny Mukhtar and Randall Leal to name a few. But when you've got a goalkeeper like Willis who doesn't ever really let you down, Nashville don't really concede lots of goals, it must be said. You can really build the strong foundations on an SO5 team with a defence like that. And having the goalkeeper there who can save penalties and stuff, can make multiple save, saves in a match, and can break over 70, can break over 80 on the SO5 for a goalkeeper is fantastic. Now a special shout out here has to go to my boy Jack Mayer. I just picked this guy up. I think he has great value for money. He has buttons. He's cheap as chips. He's like $5 or something. 22 was one of the number one picks in last year, I think it was. And he's starting to get minutes and he's starting to show promise. He's starting to progress. Definitely one to watch. Now, this is the, the team I'd be looking to build for Nashville. I think it's a very solid team, top to bottom, by the way. CJ Sapong might not be the most glamorous forward, but he gets the job done in SO5. He's got a great all-round game, so he does contribute to the team's overall play, as well as some decisives. Randall Leal, I've got a real soft spot for. I really enjoy watching this player play. I think he's very exciting and very direct. And he's just been coming back into the team recently. And it's good to see him getting back on the score sheet and such again. Now, this team, unfortunately, through injuries and international periods and whatever, hasn't played together too often over the last three months or so. But as you can see, over the time they've been together, this is a team. Nashville can win. Nashville can be the best fantasy team in a game week. This week here, it would have won. You know, and that's with Joe Willis picking up a 44. And that would have been a tier zero, which could have been absolutely anything in Global Limited. As you can see, getting into the tier ones on multiple occasions... 
Tier 2s and 3s are dotted around also, and the only thing that stops this being a real power stack across this time period is things like injuries and international fixtures getting in the way. The real base of that team, Joe Willis, Walker Zimmerman and Hanny Mukhtar can be a real fantastic foundation to build really any level of so rare team on when you know they're playing and when they're fit and available of course because the, the higher end of the scores that they can come into generally together can get you right high up the leaderboards as we've just seen. If you don't fancy Sapong, if you fancy upgrading him or something else like that then again that can be done quite successfully. They're a very robust team, a very versatile team. Even if you only picked up one or two cards from Nashville they would be very useful when you know the fixtures are going to be in favour for them to be targeting that and exploiting that because they are a, a very well-run team very exciting to watch with guys like Hanny Mukhtar and Randall Leal CJ Sapong when they are fully fit and firing and that's what we always love to see on the channel is decisive actions goals and assists and these guys can do that let me know your thoughts on Nashville for Rivalry Week in the comment section down below guys I hope you've enjoyed this one don't forget to like subscribe and share retweet all that good stuff guys stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one take care bye bye Let's get into all the giveaway stuff before I let you go. I'm still doing monthly giveaways and I'm making it easier to enter. If you want to be entered to win this month's prize or any future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, you need to be a subscriber to enter, then leave a comment down below. Each month, a random comment from a random video will be selected as the winner, so the more videos you leave a comment on, the better the chance you've got of winning any of my giveaways. All the winners are announced at the end of videos the same way as we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. As always guys, if you've enjoyed the video today, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. On screen there now is some other stuff that I've made that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.